In this tutorial, we'll be covering some of the features of the dynamic preflop range viewer. So in your favorite browser, you go to zenith.poker and you log into your account. Now in the top, you go to the preflop tab and then you click dynamic preflop range viewer, this middle button here. And that brings you to the dynamic preflop range viewer. So let's go and have a look at this viewer and uh, all the settings that we can put in. So this viewer shows the Zenith poker preflop ranges in a nice and easily digestible way. So the first thing we can go, we can do is set up the configuration so we can edit the configuration. All right. And uh, here we can select the different colors that we want to use. All right, we just leave it as standard for now. We can select the display type for the um, game tree buttons. Uh, we'll just select it as the default and the range string that we need, whether we go to GGA Plus or Pyo or simple preflop. So if we have a copy range that we want to copy and we want to copy it to, copy it to GTA Plus, we just select GTA Plus, or if we want to copy it to simple, uh, simple preflop or simple postflop, we can click the simple uh, postflop button there. All right, then once we have the configuration that we want, we can click here on the range set. So the range set tells us uh, which preflop ranges we want to look at. All right, we've got uh, 100 big blind standard six max, uh, 100 big blind heads up, and 200 big blind six max preflop ranges. So let's have a look at the 100 big blind standard. We just click that. And now that shows us the different positions that we could open from. We could open from the low jack, the high jack, the cutoff, the button, or the small blind. All right. So here's already set for the low jack. So let's have a look at the, the low jack strategy. All right. So this uh, low jack open, we have the exact range right in the matrix here. All right. So this, this whole matrix tells us the low jack strategy to open the pot. On the right, we have the overall strategy that tells us what um, frequencies we're opening uh, for each of the, the open sizes that we have. So you notice here that opening to two big blinds or 40% of the pot, 40% pot raise is happening at 17.34% and raising to two and a half is happening at 1.12% and then happening opening to Three big blinds is happening at a small 0.12%. All right, the the EV of each of the of the strategies doesn't really tell you very much because this is just the average EV of all the hands within this particular open size. So looking at this number won't won't tell you a huge amount. But here, what we can do is click on a hand inside the matrix, and it will show us what the frequency that we're opening and the EV of that hand. So let's have a look at the Queen Jack suited, for example. So here the Queen Jack suited is opening 40% of the pot, 94.8% of the time, and its EV is 0 0.10 big blinds. Okay. So at any stage, we can click and look at any of the individual hands, right? Look at exactly how those hands are playing right here on the right, and we can look at the EV. Now to go back to the overall EV, all we'd have to do is just click this little backwards arrow here, and that returns us to the overall strategy for that node. All right, once we, once we see the matrix and we look at exactly what's going on, we can now go through and navigate through the game tree. All right, so the game tree options are here on the left. All right, and all you have to do to go to the next node in the game tree is select an action for the current player. All right, so here for the low jack, Let's say the low jack opens to two big blinds. All right, we have the low jack open two big blinds, and then boom, that'll that'll load in the the next action. All right, so after the low jack opens to two big blinds, we've got the hijack's decision. The hijack can, in this simulation, open to 75, 50, or, or 100. All right, or 4.75, 6.13, and 7.50. So you've got those. Um, different different three bet sizes for the hijack, and you've got the the frequency there. All right. Now we also have some other options. After the hijack folds, we can fold directly to a certain player. Okay. 
So let's say, for example, we want to fold it to the small blind, right? If we want to say, for example, how the small blind responds to the low jack open, we just click fold to small blind. All right, now it's folded to the small blind. Okay, and we have the small blinds options. So here, all the small blinds options, we've got the small blind to check or call, right? And for this example, it's gonna be a call, right? Because the low jack had raised. Um, we've also got the small blind three betting to seven, nine and a half, 12, or 14 and a half, and the corresponding frequencies at which it does that. And each of the individual hands inside the, the matrix here, you can click on it and see how that hand plays. All right, and so back to the game tree, let's say, for example, the small blind uh, makes a three bet, all right? So let's have a look at the overall strategy. Let's say the small blind three bets to this 150% pot three bet size, okay? So that goes to nine and a half big blinds. So the small blind is three bet to nine and a half, and now we've got the next action, all right? The next action here is the big blind, all right? So big blind is still left to act. Big blind might come in, for say, for example, like a call, they might decide to raise, right? Or they can just fold. You can look at the, the frequencies of each of the actions. So here you've got the big blind folding at 96.81%. So let's just say the big blind folds and now it's back on, on the low jack. Now these hands here are blacked out because they weren't in the opening range for the low jack to start with, all right? So if it's not within the range, it's just blacked out. So then it's just the white that will tell you exactly whether, whether to, to fold, the green to call and here the, the orange to, to raise. And remember, if you don't like these colors, if these colors are, are bad for your eyes, you can always go and change the colors in the configuration. All right, so say for example, I wanna change it to rainbow colors. I do it like that, or symptoms colors, I do it like that. Or phase, do it like that, all right? So if, if, you, if you don't like the colors, you can always change them, okay? Um, and then you just keep going through, through the game tree, right? You can go and look at the individual uh, actions here for the low jack, what low jack might do as a response. Okay, so let's say, for example, we've got the low jack min raise, all right, and now this is the small blind, how, how small blind plays each of those hands. All right, so the view which, which you get is the small blind's strategy. It's not the small blind's range, the small blind's strategy. In order to get the range, all you have to do is click the copy range button. So here at the bottom here, you just click the copy range button, okay, and that shows us this second panel, and now you can go and select which hands, uh, which which of the actions you want to include in the range that you're going to copy. So say for example, I want to look at this, the, the small blind call against this low jack four bet. All I have to do is turn on the call button and then turn off the, the the rest of them. So this is just going to give me the range which calls the four bet. Okay. Now if you're in Firefox, you can you can just click the copy button and they'll copy it to your clipboard. Or if you're in Chrome and you have trouble with this copy button, you can just manually copy the range, all right? So this, I can go and copy range. So I've copied that, and now I can put it into a program like GTO Plus or our Equilab or Simple Postflop, and, and anything that you want, right? So just copy it. So now I've copied the small blinds range, okay? Which is different from the small blinds strategy, right? Because remember, the small blind might not have three bet all of these hands uh, before the flop at, at, at full frequency, but they're, they're calling some of these hands at full frequency, right? So here you look at the, um, the pocket threes strategy, right? It only three bet that hand to this size at a 1.6% frequency, but it's calling it all the time once it gets full bet, all right? So we just go copy range. Here I'm now copying the small lines call range. So I copy that, copy that, and then I paste it into um, say, for example, GTO Plus, if I want to run a post-flop sim, okay? And then what, what I can do to go back in the, in the game tree, I don't have to go and restart, but I can go and click the back buttons here. So each of these back buttons will immediately return you to that node in the tree. So say, for example, I want to go back to the Lojack min raise and I want to copy the Lojack min raise's range, I just click the back button here. And now I copy the range. I see that I want to copy the Lojack min raise, so I include that and I exclude the other ones. And now I copy that, all right? And I copy that range and I will paste that into my post-flop solver to uh, complete the ranges for the two players going post-flop. Okay. Now, say so, for example, I'm done with this and I wanna restart the low jack. All I could do is just click, click the low jack and that boom, that, that, that returns you immediately to the first node in the low jack. 
or now I want to see what happens after Lojack folds, right? There's no Lojack fold option here. All we have to do is re remember that after Lojack folds, the hijack opens. So we click the hijack button, and now we're looking at the hijack's opening range. Okay, after the hijack folds, the cutoff opens, etc. So it's fairly easy to use. So for example, I just want to look at the cutoff opening range, right? I see I've got the option to go um, to two and a half, sorry, I got two and a half and two and a quarter, right? I want to look at, say for example, the uh, the range for the two and a quarter. I could copy range, and then I just add in the two and a quarter, right? Or if I wanted to look at the entire set of hands that cutoff is opening it uh, completely, I can just click and see all of them, right? So fairly intuitive, fairly easy to use. Click on the individual hands to, sh to show its EV. Click on the left to navigate through the game tree. Um, and you can always click the back buttons if you make a mistake and you want to go back to that particular node. All right, so that is a quick summary about the features of the dynamic preflop range viewer. If you have any questions, just let me know. Bye now.